they would actually drink until they were so drunk that they would fall in and drown. Hey guys, welcome to Learn Chinese Now. I'm your host, Jared Madsen, and today we will be talking about China's very first dynasty, the Xia Dynasty. Apparently happened somewhere around 2000 BC. What the stories tell us is that the dynasty began with this massive flood. Now this flood just took over all of China. There was a guy, his name was Gun, and he was dedicated to fixing the flood. And he worked for years and years, but he couldn't figure it out. But his son, who was his apprentice, had all these really good ideas. His son's name was Yu. And so Yu worked for 13 years straight. The story goes that he never actually even returned home. He was just dedicated to working and fixing the flood. His way of fixing the flood actually gave birth to agriculture in China because now they knew how to control water. He was really considered to be the beginning of the dynasty, even though technically, technically, there was another guy in charge. That guy was Shun. Now, so of course, after the flooding had been fixed, you throughout the land, everybody was like, this guy's great, this guy's awesome. And in the traditions of ancient, ancient China, the role of leader would be passed on to the most capable person. So naturally, Shun asked Yu to be the, the emperor, to be the ruler. So then Yu became the ruler. Then he started to get old and he needed to pass on his throne to someone else. And he decided to pass it on to Qi, his son. So this is the first time that a ruler had passed on their position to not the most capable person, but their son. That was the beginning of the hereditary rule of China's dynastic history. Some may even say that's where nepotism began. I don't know, we don't know, we don't know. Qi was a very good ruler, but Tai Kong was not a very good ruler. It was kind of lazy and corrupt as apparently, I don't know, maybe that happens on the third generation, who knows? Anyway, uh, there was a lot of internal struggle and external struggle, but finally they kind of got it back together and the family maintained power. Now we fast forward to Zhongkang, Xiang, Shaokang, Zhu, Huai, Mang, Xie, Bu Jiang, Jiong, Jin, Kang Jia, Gao, Fa, and Jie. That's the last one. So the Xia Dynasty's final ruler was Jie, who was not only a tyrant, he was also a raging alcoholic and he had a concubine. They did, had this one thing that they would do. They thought it would be really funny to kind of dig this big pit and dump a bunch of alcohol in it and make this kind of alcohol lake. And then they would get soldiers. They would actually drink until they were so drunk that they would fall in and drown. And apparently the ruler of the Xia dynasty thought, and his concubine thought that was just hysterical. So as you can tell, that dynasty was getting pretty bad at the time, got weak, and then was attacked by this band called the Sheng. And so they came in, they took over, and then they declared the next dynasty, which is the Sheng dynasty. So unfortunately, we don't have a lot more information about the Xia dynasty, even though it lasted for something like 400 years. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. Zaijian. To see traditional Chinese culture come to life on stage, I welcome you to join me at a Shenyun performance. Shenyun is the world's premier classical Chinese dance company, and I am the MC. Check out the link in the description below.